Yes, indeed. You just made my heart so Asia. happy. Asia. <laughs> oh. Oh! You just made my heart so happy. I'm sorry. This is my this is my new jam. This is my joint right here, and I'm smoking it all day, every day. Thank you. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna get right into talking about this one because it's a it's it's the latest. It's the new one. It's the one you performed at BET last night. Yeah. Um, so much to talk about. So let's see if I can remember all the questions I got to ask. <laughs> First of all, the last time um, you and I talked, I said to you, um, I can't remember which song was out. And I said to you, I said, Fantasia, how come you be screaming all the time? And you're like, <laughs> I don't be screaming all the time, T. And I, I, you say, I just feel it. But this song is a different Fantasia. Mm-hmm. It really is. Yeah. Do you feel that way about it? Or is it just a, your fans like me that feel well, that way? I just think because you guys haven't, you know, heard me do different genres of music. Like when I did Broadway, which was jazz. Um, from there, I was able to go to the Kennedy Center and perform with the National Symphony Orchestra. And that was all jazz. That was all laid back. That was all sweet. That was Billie Holiday. And I was singing songs that you guys have never heard me sing. And so what it is, is I grew up in a musical family. And we listened to everything. You know, First Cousins, Casey and Georgia. So on my father's side, everybody sings. And we we played all genres of music. When I won Idol, from Idol, going with the record label, you've only heard me do one style of music. Yeah. And now that I'm independent... I can show you that I'm not, you know, I was being placed in this box and now I can do a little bit of everything. Now, don't get me wrong. The gospel side, which we call a squall, you call a scream, we call a squall. <laughs> right. Okay. I grew up in quartet gospel music. I'm not sure if anybody in this room know, you know, you ever heard. Okay. Quartet. So if you Google a quartet group uh-huh. and I'm going to send you some. Okay. When you hear them do it, now you'll know it's called a squall. A squall. A squall. S-Q-U-A-L. Mm-hmm. A squall. squall. Okay. All right. All right. So for me. That's where I grew up, you know, when I when I start feeling good and the soul starts to kick in, that comes out. And it's almost like when James Brown used to do his thing. Yeah. Everybody loved it. It, yeah. it was a James Brown thing. And so that's something that I have, but that's not the only side of me. And so with Enough, I was able to embody uh, the records that we used to listen to on Saturday morning when my mom and them would wake us up. It was, that was, it was clean up day. Mm-hmm. Saturdays for black Sat- folk. It's mm-hmm. always clean, clean up, up day. day. The house smell like Clorox. Everybody you watching up. Soul Train, Fat yeah. Albert. Well, for us, we were playing good music. Uh-huh. And, and listening we were, to Maze. Yeah. Yeah. And Anita Baker. There Luka, it is. You know what I mean? And so that this record is what I, I wanted to embody those those artists that I grew up listening to and they kept it sweet and uh, it, it goes up but it's just a different a different sound that nobody's heard me do before. It's a very different sound but also when we last spoke you you were very excited about being on your own and mm-hmm. getting out of that record label box because the last Rock Soul Yeah. Yeah, that was a different Fantasia because you were taking control of everything that was you, your yeah. image, your branding, your music, and how you put it out. Mm-hmm. And so how do you feel uh, this being the second time versus the first time mm-hmm. uh, coming out with an album under your own tutelage, if you will? I feel great. I feel great. I feel like nobody can prostitute the gift anymore. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm. And it all belongs to me. Thank God for the labels, though. It's taught me a lot, you know. Um, I probably wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now without that whole experience, but now I can do what I want to do. So coming in here just speaking with you guys and hitting the stage yesterday, it was, it's different. It's different. Hitting the stage yesterday, <laughs> when the women found out that I was interviewing you, your female fans, yeah, I couldn't go anywhere without people asking me to ask you one question. Okay. And so I have to ask the question in Mm -hmm. honor of your fans. Mm -hmm. They all want to know, how do they get a body like yours, Fantasia? (laughs) How do we get a body like that? Because, honey, in in that situation you had on last night, (laughs) let's be clear. Yeah. Crystal, you was fire, baby. You was lit. (laughs) Thank you. I work out hard. I eat good, and that's hard because I'm from the South, so, you know, we like to eat. Yeah, I'm going to say, how you, how you eating good and hot point? I know. I, well, you know, I'm in Charlotte, but it's okay. still the same thing. You know, we still like to eat. Um, but I always say that me working out is not just to look good, it's to live a long time. When I lost grandma, she had a massive heart attack. And I think that a lot of things that we eat and put inside our bodies is what makes us 
unhealthy. And I just want to live a long time. And I want to be, I have to be that example for my mother. She went to the doctor not too long ago and, and everything is good. She's healthy, but he told her, you know, you got to get your weight back and, you know, or else you're going to be on high blood pressure pills. So I'm telling I got to be that example for my mother and my aunties and the other young kids growing up that you have to take care of your body. Your body is your temple. And so it's not just to look good. I like it, but I want to live a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's easier to do that? And I'm asking this for people who are like much like us, regular people. Mm. Um, do you think it's easier being a celebrity, having access to maybe uh, chefs and cooks and no. money to be able to buy the things you need? No, because I'm regular. I don't like to be. I don't. I don't like the whole celebrity thing. Yeah, but you have more money than we have, Fantasia. You don't know that. <laughs> okay. A lot of a lot of artists that you see, they look like they have it. And we smile and we come out and we put on a good show. But in real life, some of them are struggling mm. and we don't have it. I'm just now building myself back up. I lost everything twice. Mm. So I cook my own food. I don't need no chef. I'm from North Carolina. My grandma and my mama taught me how to cook. Tammy Mac here. Oh, hey, oh, oh, shoot. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interrupting myself. Yeah, no, I cook my own food. I don't have a chef. I go get the, my own groceries. Um, I don't have a driver. I drive my own car. You know, um, that is fake. I don't want to be, I don't want that life or else I quit. I don't want it. It's, it's already a lot out here in the industry. I don't want that life. I'm just like you, sis. Mm -hmm. Just like you. So no, I cook my own food. Um, you know, you got to pay the trainers. Yeah, you do have But to sometimes I get people to come in and just say, yo, we just want to work with you. And, um, you know, uh, uh, you post me and that. And I'm like, okay, cool. But I also tell them, too, that God gave you a gift and a talent and you can't always give it for free. Yeah. So I bless them for blessing me, you know. But no, I cook my own food. I don't think it, I think you can do it yourself. And yeah, it's, it's not that for me. And I don't want it to be that for me. If I had the money to do it, I still wouldn't do it. Mm hmm. Yeah, the, the BET Awards last night was it was interesting. There were a very there were a ton of highlights. You were definitely a highlight. Uh, your vocal abilities, which as always, Thanks. on point. I mean, awesome. Uh, obviously, Mary J. Blige crushed yeah, it. He did. Uh, crushed it. But you spoke about having your own and owning your own label. And Tyler Perry at the BET Awards talked about having your own and forgetting about the seat at the table and mm -hmm. owning the table. How do you feel about that? I loved it. Love, love, love. Tyler Perry, actually, he's a good friend of mine. He'll call and check up on me. Um, he was one of the ones that when I lost everything, he came and blessed me. Mm. Um, and I thank him for that. Um, how did he find out? Like, how did people the know? The world knew. Come on, all my stuff was all out there. All my stuff. I was, I'm that artist that as soon as they find out something, they go and run with it and they post it and blast it everywhere. Mm -hmm. So the world knew. They knew what I was going through. And and Tyler blessed me. So I thank him for that. So everything that he said last night is true. You look around and you've been working for 10 years. You got all these people on your team. You're paying this person, that person. And you look up and you don't have no money in the bank. Because you've given it to everybody else. Mm -hmm. That's what I said about prostituting and gift. Yeah. You have a gift. And... You're allowing everybody else to profit off of the gift. Mm -hmm. So I loved what he said. Wow. Can mm -hmm. I play forever ain't long enough again? Yeah. That's my that's my you, wait, you're gonna play the same you're gonna play it again? I want to. It's your Like that's really my song. Okay. Like you think I'm lying. <laughs> like I'm not just cause Fantasia here ah. saying it. I don't do do I ask anybody else if I can play that song again? <laughs> Yo. You are like... Like, this is my joint for real, for real. This is what's up. You're making me happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I think I have to um, hit a couple of commercials first. And okay. then when we come back from commercials, guess what? More Fantasia, y'all. In California, traffic can be overwhelming and exhausting. Semis passing over here. Motorcycles over there. Tailgaters everywhere. And up there, a guy who's driving like he's never seen rain before. 